Looking for a smart solution to back up your footage in the field? Check out the new Lassie Rugged Bus SSD. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with David from Lassie. David, how are you? Very good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. And you just introduced a new product from Lassie, yes. which is a, a Rugged Bus SSD, that's, that's the name? That's right, the Lassie Rugged Bus SSD. And Unlike any other SSD or um, a mobile storage device that I know, this is a smart one. Let's start, uh, what can you do first of all? Because we're all talking about backup and we as documentary filmmakers, we always run in the field and we always run into some problems with backing up our footage. What this can do that others can't? Well, uh, the first thing, it's ruggedized, like all of our great rugged products designed by Neil Poulton. And this product is special in that it can ingest data while you're in the field. So you can insert an SD card uh, into this device. You can also connect a USB device to this uh, uh, Rugged Boss SSD. And once you have a connection, you can hit the button here and you'll get a prompt to perform an ingest. Okay, and this little screen here will show you capacity of storage and battery life, am I right? That's right. So just a single push here at any time will let you know automatically what you have as far as available capacity and uh, battery life because there is a battery in this device for in order to carry it around with you, to bring it in the field, to perform backups. We can actually show a little bit here. So I have an SD card here. I put it in to the slot and then I push the button and you'll see here that the icon shows that the SD card is in there. And then uh, I hit it again and you'll see there's the prompt to copy. So I could perform a short push to copy or a long push to cancel the copy if perhaps I don't want to copy at that moment. Okay. There are different types of copies. There are the different types of copies, but I'm, we're yeah. back to the copy. Okay. Um, when you say copy, it will verify the data or we just do an instant copy? Well, that's a good question. So, the first time you insert an SD card here, it'll do a full copy. And it'll copy everything that you have on the SD card. As long as uh, you have incremental copies enabled, which is uh, a setting that you can perform, then it will only copy all new data that's copied onto that SD card, which is great for time. This way you don't have to perform full copies every single time you put in the same SD card. So that's very helpful for just making sure that you have all new data on the, uh, on the card. To your other question regarding verification, we also have a setting for verifying all the data that you've copied. So if you have that enabled, that means that we will automatically check for all the files that are on the SD card and make sure that they were properly copied onto the drive. That sounds very promising, but this is only one part of your kind of ecosystem. What is the other part? And I'm aiming to talk a little bit about the app that you have on the phone. Ah, well, okay, so our app is very special. The great thing about this device as well is that we have a tethered cable. So over here, this is a cable that's uh, tethered to the device, but the great thing is it can come off, so we can have two, you have uh, 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 connections for both iOS devices with the lightning cable, and then we also have a connection which is a USB-C type, and that can be connected to Android devices or the uh, iPad Pro the more recent versions. So when I connect this device, let's say to my mobile phone, what then, what happens then? Okay, so uh, let me just show you right here. So here I have uh, an iPhone, and I'm going to connect the tether cable to the iPhone, and I will push the button, and that'll automatically see it, and you'll see that the device is gonna boot. And upon booting, um, the app that we have here, the Lacy Boss, Boss app, that's going to launch automatically. And the Lisi Boss app allows you to view uh, all of the footage that you have on your device. It also allows you to control the device, that is, to set all of the settings in there. So you see the Boss app is, uh, is launching. We have a nice icon of our device, and there you have it. And you have great file browsing opportunities here. You can browse the drive itself. You can browse the photos on your phone if you want to, and you can copy, you can perform copies directly from the photo library that you have on your device onto your uh, your hard drive here. You can move files if you want. 
Um, you can manage all of your files, you can delete them, rename them, so you have a wide range of uh, opportunities uh, to, to take a look and view a snapshot as well as to get a, a, a nice perspective on all the footage that you've taken. So, here's two, an example. Two, two questions, because you're referring mostly for photos, which in our case as video makers, right. this is the easy, that's the easy thing. Yes. But when it comes to video files, with so many codecs around and so many formats, can I actually play those or you actually did not test yet what it can play? Well, right now we're relying upon the operating system, the mobile operating system that you have. So you can, in fact, uh, view anything that your mobile operating system allows you to view. So as far as playback, we've had a lot of success with popular uh, uh, video formats, of course, the things that generally you can play on iOS devices and on Android devices. But if for whatever reason it doesn't seem to work, you do have the ability, like whatever, like sharing, which you have for uh, uh, any of your applications, you can share it with a popular app like VLC, which can play anything. So you can just take that file and you can share it with VLC or whatever other popular uh, uh, video streaming app or video playing app you want to, so you can view anything that you want. The second thing, and that you told me a bit earlier, and actually it's a very important thing, whatever, I mean, I can set up some, let's call it presets, or set the device to remember some settings for the future, and right after I don't need the phone anymore. That's true. So, in point of fact, you, you, need, the, you need the phone to uh, initially set up the device, just so we can set the clock on the device. But afterwards, you don't have to have the phone. We think it's a nice app. We think you'll really like the app because it gives you a wide range of opportunities to view your files. But um, you can always go back to the app to change the settings. And we do have a robust list of settings for uh, SD copies. So that is, uh, earlier we spoke about verification. You can enable that on the phone. Once you've enabled it here, there's no need to reconnect it. It will remember. The device will remember that you've configured verification and it will verify all of your files with or without the phone. So you don't have to worry about that. Another great feature that we discussed earlier was the cloning feature and that's new to the uh, uh, to the app and basically you can uh, connect a hard drive which is larger than the one terabyte in this rugged uh, uh, SSD boss, rugged boss SSD, excuse me, and once you connect it with the app open you will receive a prompt and it will say hey this is a very large drive do you want to set this up as a clone drive and once you, and once you say yes and you've assigned a drive as a clone drive, the device will remember. So every single time you connect the clone drive to this device, it will copy the contents of the Rugged Boss SSD directly to that drive. Rather than ingesting, it'll output. This way you can have a second backup of everything that you have on your Rugged Boss SSD. This one is powered by a battery, or internal battery, that, that you have to charge. Yes. What happens if the battery inside is not charged? Can I still use the drive? You know, to operate those smart operations that you're talking about, obviously this one needs to be charged. Yes. But what I'm aiming to hear, and I hope that's the case, that if there is no battery inside and you connect it to a computer, it will still act as a normal drive. Is that the case? Absolutely. Uh, with or without a charge, you can, uh, what we've seen over here, let me just uh, take this out. What we've seen over here, there are uh, three ports on this device. We have the SD card port, that's for copying data from your SD card. We have the USB Type A port, that's for copying anything connected to that Type A port. So if you want to copy an external hard drive, if you want to, if you have a card reader for uh, different types of files that are not SD, CFast, Compact Flash, even XQD, anything. As long as you have the card reader, you plug it into here, and we can copy it into here. Now, this third port in the middle is a USB-C port, and that USB-C port is for computer connectivity. So you can connect it to your PC, to your Mac, and then this acts as just a regular one terabyte hard drive. And so whether or not you have the battery you connect it, it'll work. It'll work. You'll be able to access everything on your computer. And the great thing about these other two ports, once you've connected the USB-C port to your computer, these act as a hub function. So anything that's connected to your SD card, anything that's connected to your USB port, will automatically be seen on your computer. You, are, you chose to, um, of course, as an as a input device, an SD card option. But our world, our filming world, is moving forward. Uh, manufacturers are showing other devices, other memory cards options. Will you introduce different options besides SD card? Well, currently we're going with SD card because that, that, that what we've seen is the, one of the more popular formats. You see it everywhere and it's most common. 
Uh, and as well, we have uh, inside the box where we ship, we also ship uh, an adapter for, for mini SD, so micro SD. So if you were to attach that, you could put it in there. So we support both micro SD as well as SD. So that's a wide range of products. And, uh, and we felt that was the, the most critical at the moment. Looking forward and seeing what popular formats are out there, we certainly are very interested in hearing what customers say to us, what it is they need, and we can certainly look into producing something similar. How about pricing and availability? Because the SSD inside, obviously, I mean, it's one, one tera, that's the only size, or you have a, a different models? Well, currently, this is going to be released as a, a one tera, a one terabyte version. Um, pricing is to come. Uh, and we're hoping for a release date uh, end of September through mid-October. Um, that's what we expect to see that come, and then pricing will be uh, made available then. David, thank you very much. It was very nice to hear, very nice to listen, because, again, this is another device that might prove very useful in the field for us filmmakers. Thank well, you very much. We, we hope you guys use it, and we hope everyone who's watching will use it as well. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you.